As a small business owner, you know it's vital to systemize your business if you want business growth in 2022. But where do you start? This video blog will discuss the nine steps to systemizing your small business. Let's discover them together right after this. In my time coaching the owners of small local businesses to create systems, I have found that there are nine essential steps to take. We'll explore these steps in this video. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Doug Barra, and I'm a small business coach. I've been in the small business world for over 16 years and have helped businesses of all shapes and sizes to systemize their operations and achieve their growth goals. So for me, this is a great honor and a massive responsibility. You see, I believe you are the most courageous person I know. You take on the responsibility of your business, your family, your employees, and even your employees' families. You do this mostly without anyone to be there with you, to discuss your ideas, help you to find your way, even if it's a shoulder for support. So I salute you and your courage. Let's get into the nine steps to systemize your small business in 2022. The first step is creating a vision. What do you want your small business to achieve? More than goals, what is the legacy that you want for your business? Once you have a clear vision for your business, you can start working on making it a reality. It becomes your guiding star, your beacon in the dark, even your sword of discernment. The second step is creating a mission. Your mission defines who your business is, who your customers are, and what your business provides for them. In other words, it should answer the question, why does my business exist? When you can answer that question, you're well on your way to developing a mission for your business. The third step is creating a culture. Culture is the set of values and beliefs that guide your behavior of everyone in your organization. It's what makes your small business unique and attracts and retains the best employees. Creating a strong culture will help you build a successful small business. Every company has a culture. The biggest question is, did you make the culture or did it simply arise? And does it support the company's success? The fourth step is creating goals. Goals give you something to strive for and provide a sense of direction, focus, and momentum for your small business. Without goals, it's easy to get lost in the day-to-day -day grind and lose sight of what you're trying to achieve. So sit down and develop specific, measurable, achievable, results-oriented, and time-bound goals for your small business. Start with the long-term goals five to 10 years. And yes, I know it's challenging to think that we can plan that far ahead, especially in today's environment. The point is to create the goals anyway. Otherwise, you're a rudderless boat on the sea, hoping you'll accidentally float into a safe harbor. <laughs> From your five-year goal, create a three-year goal that supports you getting there. Then make a one-year goal to support the three-year. Finally, create a 90-day goal to support your one-year goal. Now, don't fall into the trap of doing this the other way around. That would be like your cruise ship captain saying, okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to leave the harbor and cruise out into the open water. Then tomorrow, we'll look at the conditions and decide where we're going next. <laughs> no. <laughs> the fifth step is creating milestones. Milestones are like signposts on the road to success. They help you track your progress and keep you motivated. They also provide a sense of accomplishment as you achieve them. So identify the major milestones you will achieve in the next 90 days and start working toward them. Let me pause here to explain something. 
When I'm showing this to my clients, I often get the question, Doug, we're supposed to be covering the steps to systemization and you haven't covered anything about systems and we're more than halfway through. When are you going to get to the systems? All right. In the neighborhood where I live, crews are building many new homes. If you've ever watched this process, you'll notice something. In my community, there are no empty lots. So the first task is to tear down the old house. Next, they spend days digging up the lot, sometimes moving dirt and rocks from one part of the lot to another and then seemingly just putting them back. Finally, they have a nice smooth surface to build on. And you'd think, okay, now they'll start building. But no, then they start putting down a foundation. This can take weeks, depending on the size of the home they're making. Only once the foundation is complete and stable do they start building the house. Those first five steps are building the foundation for your systems. Otherwise, it would be like trying to build a, size, a skyscraper on the sand at the beach. You can do it, but I wouldn't recommend it. The sixth step is creating an organizational chart. An organizational chart shows your small business's hierarchy of authority and responsibility. It helps everyone understand who's responsible for what and who they should go to with questions or problems. Creating an org chart is a simple but essential step in systemizing your small business. The seventh step is creating positional descriptions. A positional description is simply a document that describes in detail the responsibility of a particular position in your small business. This might seem like overkill, but trust me, it's not. Having clear and concise positional descriptions helps ensure that everyone in your small business knows their job and what's expected of them. It also makes it easier to hold people accountable and identify training needs. The eighth step is creating key performance indicators, KPIs. KPIs are metrics that you use to track the performance of your small business against your goals. They help you understand what's working and what's not, so you can make necessary adjustments. Selecting the proper KPIs is critical to the success of your small business. The ninth and final step is creating the structures for success. This includes things like policies, procedures, and processes. It's the nuts and bolts of your small business system. Without these structures in place, your small business will be a house of cards that can come crashing down at any moment. So there you have it the nine steps to systemize your small business in 2022. You may not be able to do all of them overnight, but if you start working on them today, you'll be well on your way to having a well-oiled machine that will run like a top. If you have any questions or would like to share your own stories about building systems in your local business, please leave me a comment. Would you like to learn more about building systems in your business or other topics regarding business success? Yeah? Great! Then there are a few things that you need to do right now. First, like this video so I know that you got value and I'll make more videos like this one. Second, subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video so that you don't miss a single piece of the valuable information we share. And last, click the link in the description to register for the next live web class we hold on Thursdays and unearth the secrets to scaling your business. You can also register by going to www.businesssuccess.group forward slash scaling live. That's www.businesssuccess.group forward slash scaling live. I'm Doug Barra, and I'm passionate about helping small businesses succeed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in our next video.